I don't know what I'd do without my brother. My brother is like, he, we've done everything together ever since we were little, little kids. I mean like from like running around, building dirt bike tracks to you name it, Tyler and I have done it together and I really don't, I really don't know where I'd be without him. You know, you guys even seen today, he's out at the track with me, he's hurt, he's got a broken pelvis and a shattered hip and he's still out at the track. He, he's part of my crew. He's he's really the dude that just keeps me going. They don't wanna know the fucking pain you've been through. They don't wanna know the fucking pain you've been through. They don't wanna know the exit that you've been to. They don't wanna know the things that you've been through. They don't wanna know the effort that it takes to get to the top. Nothing gonna break you till you get here from your blind side. One millisecond and you're going for a ride. One millisecond, yeah, it change your life. But that millisecond, yeah, you wish you thought twice, but you can't. Sometimes it's like a married couple with Adam, and because we're literally together like 24 7, especially like doing super cross speeds, we're on the same schedule as far as like training, waking up, riding together, traveling together. So, in that aspect, you kind of get sick of them every once in a while. We have our tough days where it's like, dude. Get away from me right now, like. I think everybody has those days when you're hanging out with someone, but every single time I try to push when he's gone so I have an edge when he comes back. And, you know, I think that's what drives us, you know, together and that's why we work so good together. I was about nine years old when I started kind of getting more into racing. I wasn't very good, to be honest, like I, I was, I was just middle of the pack kid. We'd go to the races on the weekend, but Tyler was always a little bit better than me. I was always competitive with my brother, but I didn't really like, we'd just go to the races because I was having fun on my dirt bike. And then, you know, one day it all just, it kind of changed because I seen my brother at the amateur nationals doing really good. And then Yamaha was kind of looking at him and, you know, to give you guys a, to give you guys a little bit of reflection on 7 series at Las Vegas World Mini. I got 22nd in the 125 beginner class in the LCQ, legitimately. Not crashing, not, you know, you can't, I mean, I guess I got a bad start, but you know, I didn't come through the pack. And that was in 2004. And in, uh, in 2018, I'm making Supercross main events, getting 16th, so. When I go to ride, I like, I love it. You know, it's not something where, you know, you've seen Ryan Villapoto at the end of those years where he's like, oh, I'm just doing my job. Not a lot of emotion, just showing up to the track and, and getting it done. When I wake up in the morning, I'm like, this is sick. I get to go down to the shop, get in my Ranger, go to the Supercross track and spin laps for a living. And, you know, I think that's partially because my parents, you know, taught me so well and taught me great morals and you know I worked when I was a kid like when I was 14 years old we were working in the yard whatever we had to do and I just really appreciate every single day that I get to ride my dirt bike and do what I do you know we go out and we water the track at nighttime, get the bike work done and fortunately enough I have you know a mechanic at the race now and and my program is just gone up a level. I've been getting better and better because my program has gotten better and better. You know, just because I am happy to ride my dirt bike and I love it every single day does not mean that when I go to the race, I'm just content with being happy to ride my dirt bike. You know, that's my goal is to be one of those factory guys one day where I can wake up in the morning and it's even better where I don't, I just show up to the track. You can't, you can't get any better than that. I mean, that's the life goal is to just be able to go, go to the races, stand on the podium and, uh, and ride the sickest bike on the track.